everyone. Uh, we are going through a, a potence uh, series and uh, we are going to tell S of X equals to sum N zero to infinite C N X N and uh, the series is uh, has a convergence radius L and X is uh, between minus R and R and uh, then if it is convergence uh, if it is the derivable uh, in this interval then S prime of X equals to sum N zero to uh, to infinite N C N X N minus one and S P of X equals to sum N zero infinite N N minus one C N X N minus two and uh, the integral of uh, S of X dx equals to sum n0 infinite cn xn plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus a, a constant a. The example is uh, sum uh, n plus 1 n plus 2 divided by n facult n from 1 to infinite. Um, here we use uh, x2 ex equals to a x2 sum n from 0 to infinite x power by n and infinite which is sum x n plus 2 n facult n 0 to infinite which is convergence for each x Uh, which is convergence for each x and uh, uh, derivative, derivative is uh, if it is derivative is 2x ex plus x2 ex equals to sum n0 infinite n plus 2 x n plus 1 divided by n infinite and uh, another, another uh, derivative is uh, 2 e x plus 2x ex plus 2x ex plus x2 ex equals to sum 0 to infinite n plus 2 n plus 1 xn n facult but this one is ex then then uh, this sum n plus one n plus two n factor n from zero this one equals to
seven e minus two. To reach, to reach this, we put x equals to 1. To reach this, x equals to 1. And here is 1, 3, 5, 7, e, minus 2. Is it 2? Okay, another example is another example is uh, integral 0 to 1 e power by minus x to dx then it is integral 0 to 1 sum n 0 to infinite minus x2 n faculty power by n dx then it is sum n 0 to infinite minus 1 power by n n faculty integral 0 to 1 x to n dx which is n0 to infinite minus 1 power by n n factor 2n plus 1 for uh, x from 1 to 0 which is uh, which is zero seven four six eight something. Okay. For differential uh, uh, for uh, differential solutions, uh, met with help of series, we have p x y b plus q x y prime plus r x y equals to s x uh, we use y equals to steady 0 to infinite c n x n and uh, we calculate by prime by base and put it in that then uh, we can solve the uh, problem uh, the uh, function and uh, for this we are going to have example x y base plus y prime plus x y equals to zero and we call it one then y prime equals to sum n0 infinite n c n x n minus 1 y b is equals to 0 to infinite n multiplied by n minus 1 c n x n minus 2 you put it here then uh, it is sum n0 to infinite n n minus 1 x multiple 
Cn and we are going to factor a Cn to we are going to see Cn here n minus 1 x n minus 1 plus this one plus n x n minus 1 and x y x y plus x n plus 1 equals to zero. Then it is uh, Cn and two x n minus one plus x n plus one n equals to zero to infinite and it is this equals to zero and it is And And it is absolute of this one. Uh, For x less than 1, these terms are going to 0, and it is the whole uh, s, then s goes to 0, and it is correct. And for x greater than 1, it's infinite, infinite, this one goes to infinite, goes to s goes to infinite but we will that s become zero then x less than one uh, gives gives uh, S equals to sum n zero infinite uh, n two x minus two plus one and uh, this is great and this is plus x2 cn 
and this uh, is less than this one then here here we get uh, y equals to uh, I don't know just a second I must see I can be Then we must reach that expression. This expression uh, and find C n and uh, and uh, x n. Okay, it's a little uh, of a course. And then we are going to use another examples. This one we can return later. Uh, we have reached this okay here i can see this one is little this one is very little. Then this one and this one, we take this. It is n minus 2. And uh, or x2. Uh, and it is little. Then it is the, uh, it is the, uh, just a second. It is. Uh, a symptom to this is this is a symptom s is a symptom to n zero infinite CN and 2 CN 2 which goes to 0 and we have this one uh, we calculate uh, later by Taylor uh, function Taylor uh, Taylor with x equals to 2 f of x equals to x2 then we use Taylor a function and put and find s which is uh, uh, we find uh, we find s and solve cn put it here and it is y okay now we are going to have uh, for uh, we finish this uh, part the series with three different equations sum zero to infinite n factor x power by n and we know that limits absolute a n plus one a n n to infinite is uh, n plus 1 facult x n plus 1 divided by n facult x n absolute which is limits n plus 1 absolute x is infinite when n goes to infinite and x not zero then it is divergent 
uh, and Dibagen and x0 is convergent because here is going to be 0 in time. Another example is uh, sum n equals 0 infinite minus 1 power by n xn divided by n factor and we have limits this n goes to infinite minus 1 n plus 1 xn plus 1 uh, multiplied by n n uh, fakult n plus 1 fakult minus n power by n xn which is it is absolute value uh, this one is minus 1 absolute is n absolute x divided by n plus 1 and it is 0 if x is not 0 if 0 and if x is 0 is infinite here is 0 is both for both of them is 0 for Allah x is 0 convergent convergent and this was div and this was com another example is uh, sum x plus 1 power by n divided by n squared 2 power by n n from 0 from 1 to infinite we are going to build this it is lameness absolute x plus 1 power by n plus 1 divided by squared n plus 1 2 n plus 1 multiple by n squared 2 n x plus 1 power by n absolute n to infinite then we have limits absolute x plus 1 divided by 2 divided by 2 multiple by n divided by n plus 1 and n goes to infinite this one is 1 and it is x plus 1 divided by 2 um, this is uh, if If x1 if because this one is, is 1 and if x minus 3 then this is uh, convergence con then x between minus 3 and less than 1 is convergent okay um, so 
the last example is uh, the last example is uh, from n1 to infinite 1 minus 1 divided by n power by n2 x n and we are going to uh, have a limits and absolute n n to infinite due to its theorem due to uh, another uh, uh, theorem and it is uh, the potence theorem and infinite absolute and then it is 1 minus this one and 2 x n power by 1 n is limits absolute 1 minus 1 n power by n absolute below x and the uh, n goes to infinite and this one equals to e minus 1 absolute x it must be less than 1 then absolute x less than e then x between minus e and e if so this is convergent and x greater than e or x less than minus e divergent Okay, it was all in this uh, part of the series. I hope that you can use it usefully. Uh, have you any questions? You can send a message or comment so I can see that I can answer you. Uh, in continue, um, continue, we are going to go to the algebra. Everything we have... Uh, uh, went uh, so far was uh, uh, analyze and uh, we are going to um, stop uh, start my um, uh, algebra uh, see you have a nice